Hi, welcome to another children's sermon. We're so glad you're here. Hi. I'm Pastor Melody. I'm Pastor Matt. Let's start with prayer. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for your righteousness and the righteousness you give us. Help us to use it wisely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Do you have a song for us today? Well, I have a lot of songs, and I was just thinking that I've got so much songs. So much songs? Yeah, and then it inspired me to, to come up with a song that we should sing. Okay. You know what that song is called? How much? What? <laughs> it's called So Much. So Much? Oh, yeah. wow. I know. So let's sing it like this. And, okay. And, and it goes like this, it goes, I've got so much, so much, so much, you say it a whole bunch of times. But as you do, you start thinking about all the things that you're so thankful for. And so you would like make your hands go out wider and wider and wider and wider and wider and wider. And then you bring them back and clap. All right. So can they follow you? Sure. Okay. Sounds so, great. so here's how it goes. I've got so much, 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 so much to be thankful for. I've got so much, 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 so much to be thankful for. Then we sing like this. Jesus, I've got Jesus to be thankful for. I've got Jesus to be thankful for. I've got Jesus. I've got so much, 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 so much to be thankful for. I've got so much, 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 so much to be thankful for. That was fun. Wonderful song, Pastor Matt. Thanks. Um. We are going over Ephesians and the armor of God. Oh man. And I just forgot something. You forgot something? Yeah, I, I need um, a thing for my guitar. Okay. That's my fault. I'll, 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 I'll be back. Okay. I, 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 I gotta go get Sounds it. Sounds great. Okay. Well, we were learning. Hello. Oh, oh. Well, hi, Agman. I am Agman. Well, hello. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. I decided to come and be with you guys again. Oh, great. We were just about to go over the armor of God. So I'm glad you're That's here. That's my favorite thing. Yes, yes. That's the whole reason I exist. Uh, exactly. So I'm glad you're here. You guys remember last week we went over the belt of truth? Can you say belt of truth? Belt, belt of, of truth. truth. This week, we're going to be talking about something really fun. I'll get to that in a minute. But this is the breastplate of righteousness. Say, breastplate, breastplate of, of righteousness. righteousness. And then we can't forget the shoes of peace. Shoes, shoes of, of peace. peace. We also have the shield of faith. Shield, shield of, of faith. faith. And the helmet of salvation. The helmet, helmet of, of salvation. salvation. And the sword of the spirit. Sword of the Spirit. Spirit. Isn't that great? Awesome, yes. Hey, hey, this week I think we ought to talk about the breastplate of righteousness. Say, breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate of righteousness. Hey, as a matter of fact, I think Kate's got a really good story about it. At least that's what I think she said she was going to do. Yes, let's go to Miss Kate. Bah. Hey, everyone. It's Miss Kate and Millie Grace. Um, we're so excited to tell you about this week's piece of armor. But first, let's remember what we learned last week. Last week, we talked about the belt of truth. That's right, truth. And we said that we need to put the belt of truth on first so that we can be truthful and remember the truth that we know about God. Are you ready to find out about today's piece of armor? Yes. Today... We are talking about the breastplate of righteousness. And righteousness. That, that's right. And this goes over your chest. Cover 
story in your heart. That's right. And it actually covers from your neck all the way down to your tummy. And underneath there is where you have a lot of really important organs, like your lungs that help you breathe. Let's take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. Ready? Breathe in and out. But most importantly, like Millie Gray said, the breastplate of righteousness protects our heart and reminds us that we belong to God. I'm going to tell you more about the breastplate of righteousness in just a minute, but we can't go without saying our memory verse. Do you remember it from Ephesians chapter 6? Yes. Verse 10? Sure. Right. Oh, that's right. Y'all at home, remember that you can follow along with Millie Grace, okay? All it right. goes like this. Be, Be strong, strong in the Lord and Lord. in his mighty, mighty power. power. One more time. One more time? Yeah. Good idea. Ready? Be strong, strong. in the Lord and in Lord. his mighty, mighty power. power. Good job. Thanks so much, Millie Grace. You want to tell everybody bye? Bye. Let's take a closer look at the breastplate of righteousness. Righteousness means living the way God wants you to. When we say that someone is righteous, it means that they listen and obey God and do good things that honor Him. God loves us and knows what's best for us, so it's always a good idea to listen and obey Him. The breastplate of righteousness reminds us that we belong to God and that He is always with us. I have an exciting story to share today, and it's one that I bet you've heard before. It's the Old Testament story of David and Goliath. <clears throat> Look, this is David, and this is Goliath. David was a small shepherd boy that loved God, and Goliath was a mighty warrior. Who do you think would win in a battle between David and Goliath? Bet many of you are saying Goliath. I mean, look at him. He's huge. He's three times bigger than David and has all of this armor to protect himself and a sharp spear to fight with. This definitely doesn't look like a fair fight. David didn't have armor like Goliath, but you know what? His is actually better. You know why? Because David was wearing the breastplate of righteousness. Let's hear the story and find out who wins the battle. David and Goliath. <clears throat> King Saul and his army looked out from their mountain hideout. Their enemies, the Philistines, were camped out on the opposite mountain. In the valley between stood Goliath, the tallest man Saul had ever seen. Who will fight me? Goliath roared, waving his spear. Who can face the mighty Goliath? He shouted, lifting his sword. Saul and his army were afraid. They could not win against the Philistines. They could not beat Goliath. Surely they would be captured and become slaves. A beam of sunlight bounced off Goliath's bronze helmet. His voice shook the leaves in the trees. All the birds hid behind their branches. Send out your best warrior, Goliath ordered. Let him fight against me. If I win, you will be our slaves. If your soldier wins, we will serve you and your God. Saul waited. No one stepped forward to take Goliath's challenge. Saul felt a small tug on his sleeve. Looking down, he saw David, a young shepherd boy. I'll do it, King Saul, David said. I will fight Goliath. You are a boy. How can you be a gigantic man like Goliath? Saul turned to go. 
Wait, King Saul, David said. God protects me from wolves and bears that go after my sheep. God will protect me now, too. David reached down and picked up five smooth stones. In his hand, he carried the same sling he used to chase away the wolves and wild animals. Saul patted David's head and pointed down the rocky path leading to the valley. Goliath laughed when he saw David. You are the warrior they sent out against me? Ha 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 ha! David slipped his hand into his pouch and selected a stone. I am not afraid of your spear and sword, Goliath, David said. God will help me. David rushed towards Goliath, swinging his sling. The smooth stone flew through the air and hit Goliath in the forehead. Down, 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 Goliath fell. Down fell his sword, down fell his spear, down fell his mighty shield. David picked up Goliath's bronze helmet from the ground and held it high in the air. Saul and all his soldiers rose up with a shout. David, a small shepherd boy, had beaten a mighty Goliath. When the Philistines saw that Goliath had fallen, they were afraid and ran away. Trusting in God gave David courage when he needed it most. So, I hope that you remember to put on the breastplate of righteousness every day. That way, you can be brave like David and remember that God is always with you no matter what giant you may be facing. I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, that was a great story, Miss Kate. I just love the story of David and Goliath. Wasn't it's so great? good. It's so good. It reminds me of all these different parts of the faith that I get to wear and that we get to wear all together. Can we go over them one more time? Well, I'd love to. Last week, we went over the belt of truth. Belt, Belt of, of truth. truth. This week we went over the breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate, breastplate of, of righteousness. righteousness. Next week we're going to talk about something really fun. It's going to be a surprise, but I'll give you a hint. It's probably the shoes of peace. Shoes of peace. <laughs> also, we can think about the shield of faith. Say, shield, shield of faith. faith. We can also remember the helmet of salvation. Helmet, Helmet of, of salvation. salvation and the sword of the spirit. Sword of the spirit. Hey, I've got a lot of work to do, so I'll just see you later. Okay, bye, Agman. All right, hey, bye. Do you know where Pastor Matt is? Who I... is that? Pastor Matt, he kind of looks like you. Oh, he must be very handsome. But maybe a little shorter. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, you know, okay, well, I am Agman. Can you find him? Uh, well, I'll keep I'll keep an eye out. I, I really okay. gotta go. I've got things to do. Okay. All bye. right. Bye, everyone. Pastor See you Matt. later. Pastor Matt, where is he? Pastor Matt. Oh. <laughs> hey. 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 Um. I had to tune my guitar. Did you see Agman? Who? Agman. Eggman. Ar Armor of God, man. Oh no, man. <laughs> I didn't see anybody, man. You didn't see him at all? No, not an Eggman or an Agman. No way, man. Oh, okay. okay. But hey, my guitar's all in tune. Oh, great. Can we sing another song? Yeah, what do you want to sing? How about we sing... Hey, yeah, yeah, the one we sang last yeah, week? Yeah, let's sing. I, I love that one. It goes like this. He's my rock, my sword, my shield. He's a hub in the middle of the wheel. He's a lily of the valley. He's my bright and shining star. Makes no difference what you say. I'll get on my knees and pray. I'll be singing till the day my Jesus comes. Yeehaw! That was great. Wonderful, wonderful. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Let's close in prayer. So put our hands Sounds together. Good. Bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for that righteousness that covers us like a breastplate. Be with us this week and walk with us wherever we go. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. 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 Okay, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye, everyone.